more than half a million 15-year-olds took part in the OECD's latest global education survey known as PISA. The main focus was on science, an increasingly important part of our economic and social lives. Of the 72 countries and economies that took part, Singapore did the best. The top OECD countries were Japan, Estonia, Finland, and Canada. But advances in science and technology have outpaced progress in education. Only 12 countries have improved much since the last science test in 2006, including high performers, such as Singapore, and low performers, such as Peru and Colombia. And 13% of the world's top performing students come from just four provinces in China. Around one in 10 students across OECD countries and one in four in Singapore, performs at the highest level in science. But too many students lack basic knowledge. One in five 15-year-olds across OECD countries performs poorly, not even reaching a level that everyone should achieve before leaving school. The gender gap in science is much narrower than in the other PISA subjects of reading and mathematics. Even so, on average in 33 countries and economies, the share of top performers in science is larger among boys than girls. Only in Finland are girls more likely to be top performers. And even though one in four boys and girls expects to pursue a science-related career, girls tend to envision themselves working in the health sector, while boys see themselves as becoming IT professionals, or scientists, or engineers. Poorer students are three times more likely to be low performers than wealthier students. Immigrant students are more than twice as likely as non-immigrants to be low achievers. But inequality in education is not inevitable. In Vietnam, the 10% most disadvantaged students do as well as the average student in an OECD country.